Clear. I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitches. Oh, and I've just about completed this. Four skills. I got the twos from. I don't really know if it had been. Is it the same prayer experience? I don't really know if it. Yeah, I'll choose prayer, even though it's the easiest one, the quickest one, but it is GP. Yeah, there we go. That's like 30k plus prayer experience and completed quest. The best part about that quest is probably this part right here. Um, 174 quest points. Oh boy. Hey, we can buy legend scapes now as well, which are actually pretty damn good when you go PKing. So I guess I'll just leave. I'm not going to go PKing. Wait, I don't have money on me. God damn it, those capes look sexy though. Anyways, that quest is a lot easier than I remember it. Actually, I'm gonna go to Clan Wars and get my energy and prayer back. Alright, I also now I gotta go back on Lunars once again because I had to leave. Um, where's Clan? No, it's the north, isn't it? Isn't it? There we go. But yeah, that quest only took me about an hour. I think the first time I did this quest, it took me about the whole day. Of course, back then I was 12, and all my balls still have dropped back then, but they've dropped a lot lower now. Uh, if you guys didn't know, also, you don't need your steel passage anymore. Just say you're going to the Pirates Island, whatever the hell it is, and he basically brings you there like an idiot. And then you just act like you're going to Lunar Island. There we go. Not bad. <sighs> you guys know what quest I'm doing. You guys already know it. This is probably the most annoying part. This shit is so long. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Walking. Fuck. I don't get this. We had to free these parents, yet they're way the fuck over here, like the most safest parents I've ever seen in my life. And there they are. I'm just going to do the last part now, and I have finally completed the treasure, which means... Barrel Gloves time, bitch. And thank god I recently did this quest, or else I would forget how the fuck to get back outside to the desert. Rubbing this amulet does not necessarily mean that you've actually made it to the desert. you got to do a long-ass path to get outside. And since stamina pots are OP, I'm going to try to do this entire maze with just this many stamina pots. And one energy pot, that might be good. Hopefully. Alright, Abdul. Go easy on me, man. I'm about to enter your kingdom. Ugh, fuck. No. No. Yes. Oh. Thought I fell down there. Almost there. Yes, thank you. Oh, and there it is, guys. 175 quest points, 20,000 magic experience, if that's worth anything. And I now have unlocked these spells. Now, I'm going to go on regular magic, so I believe, anyways, because I might need that for the boss fights. Um, so here we go. Splashy, 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 advertising website, splashy. What everyone loves to see when they first play RuneScape. All right, it's been since forever since I've actually done this, but I'm going to try it with just this crap right here. And um, I guess this might be good enough. I, I don't know. This bow is one for ten, so GL. Oh, yeah. We are actually in here. All right. I forget how to fight all these things, so I'm just going to go with the flow and melee everything until I die. Yep. Something like that. When you're max combat, I'm pretty confident in myself that I hardly ever die. Sometimes when I see people doing quests, they bring, like, so much food. I have, like, three food and, like, water skins when I don't even need them and shit. I don't really care. I ain't going to die. I am quite happy. Let me show you guys exactly my gallery for all the quests I've done. So as I sit here and kill the boss, hopefully I'll just eat like one more food. There's all the quests that I've recently done over the past few days. Just that fucking all these things. This thing really shooting bullshit. And it has like a bow, but it doesn't have a bow. What the fuck is it shooting at me? I should have brought a spec, but oh well. Come on, bow. And here is the final boss fight. Yeah, it's the final boss fight. I could have sworn this guy used to hit really high. He's hit nothing, but he hasn't hit one on me yet. Oh, I spoke too soon. Okay, whatever. The fuck, he just hit a 20. Oh, thank God. We're done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm going to be wearing barrel gloves. Oh, my God. Time for Twin Mo Slayer. This is everyone's dream when they first start the game is to be able to finish this shit. I don't even know what skill I want to use this on. Probably slay Slayer Ring Crafting. Mining is slow as shit. Let's use it on Hunter. Can we do it on Hunter? No! Need 50! No! That would have been awesome. Damn it. I right, would we'll just use it on Prayer. I'm just kidding. This would have been like the most efficient thing ever if I could use it on Hunter. Um, Slayer it is since Ring Crafting makes money. There's no point of getting more Ring Crafting XP for no reason. And here it is, boys. We're going to buy five right away. Eat up the food anyways. Buy items. Oh, 
There's 10 of them now. Holy, at least like five, I think. They're like uh, 130 each. Right, I'm going to go with five. I'm not that rich. Never yeah. Boston. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How's it going, guys? So now that the Bear Gloss has been achieved, I can happily go back to slaying. Or not slaying. Not yet, at least. That will be very soon. I'm just gonna AFK prey. I can't fucking top fly to this crap. I, I'm gonna end up bearing bones all the time. Um, so here is a current progress on my prayer. Um, 14k to level 86, which I believe number one boss is actually 86. So I'll have the same prayer level, and I actually have the same agility level. Um, soon enough, I'll have the same farming and slayer level, and I think the crafting level is almost the same. Cook, yeah, hell yeah. But yeah, I think I need a, like another 2,000 bones or so, and then I can get level 90 Prayer Bank, which will get me 125 combat whenever I start training Slayer, uh, which I should probably finish off Defense before I finish off Slayer, um, just because obviously back then when you Slayed, you'd get mostly combat experience, or mostly melee experience and not too much range. Looks like I'm going to have to probably buy Chins to finish off range, or I might just Slay past 99 and just finish it off with a Cannon. Um, it doesn't really matter, it's kind of up to me, I guess, if I continue wanting to Slay. Which I'm sure you guys are aware, Slayer is by far my most favorite skill to train. Um, just because it's always something different. It's probably the reason why most people enjoy Slayer. You know, you do something for an hour, you get bored of it. doesn't matter, you get a new task next time anyways. Though I believe mostly, most of the Slayer you do in this game is quite AFK, especially now with just the cannon. Um, before it was an as AFK because there was too much cannon use. But now you just set a cannon up, go underneath it, shoot it, and then you're good. But aside from that, I'm thinking about going for uh, 99 Thieving pretty soon as well, just because I, I can get knocked that out in like a week probably. Uh, maybe even, eh, if I know life, I can knock it out less than a week, but I'm not going to know life that much, obviously, so uh, maybe I'll get it in like a week and a half or so. But I think I have decided, guys, that my first cape on this account is going to be farming, I believe. And I'm going to probably train farming post 99 even just for a little bit of ranks and stuff. Um, just because it's very easy to get top age in farming, I believe. And I still have a lot of seeds anyways in my bank. And I want to continue farming watermelons and dwarfs because it's kind of fun. I think I've gotten addicted to farm runs. I'm not too sure why. But yeah, farming cable and trim doesn't look that nice, but it, yeah, it's cool. I don't mind it. Now for skills like herb lore and things like that, I guess. Not much of Fletcher. Mostly herb lore. Um, ooh, there's a lady six. Not too bad. Fucking AFK I'm like a boss right now. Let's just at least do these last ones. There we go. Okay. Uh, but anyways, uh, so I think I'm going to wait till the trade post comes out to trade herb lore. It might make it more expensive, which I assume it probably actually will. Uh, but it's going to be a lot less stressful, I guess, just to bother getting it. Because right now, it's uh, it's quite cheap. I mean, maybe 40 mil or so for 99. Uh, if you are lucky enough to get those potions and stuff and the uh, you know raw materials uh, for a good enough price. Plus, I don't really have the money to bank something like Herb Lord, especially at this point. So uh, I'm going to probably wait for that. Hopefully, by then, I'll probably be turning runecrafting and making my money there. Uh, so that'll pay for, you know, obviously, whatever else I have left. And construction will probably just get to 80 for now, because fuck that. Anyways, I'm going to go back to training for prayer, some prayer for right now. I don't really like AFKing too much of this, because it is actually very slow compared to this method right here. So I'll sit... Oh, and if you guys wanted to know, I'm not sure if it was a troll comment or not in my video, but um, someone's like, you don't have to do that for prayer, but I don't, I don't want to pay face palm like crazy. I do know that you can AFK prayer, but it's like half the speed, and it's quite boring as well. Um, so anyways, I'll see you guys next clip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all kinds of games in this fucking ditch.